told her, I was like, I just can't see the road. She was like, no, ma'am, turn back around. I was like, sis, you bugging. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I was crying and I was really upset. <laughs> talking about how to pass your Juris test and I'm just gonna be giving y'all some tips and some tricks and it's gonna be like a little story time on how I felt my Juris test for the first time and how I passed it okay okay so without further ado let's get into the video as many of you know I felt my Juris test the first time but I came right back around on the second time okay so basically yeah let's get into the video i love every single one of you y'all are so amazing so supportive y'all are just some beautiful people let me know what you want to see next okay and i love every single one of you let's get it <laughs> okay so first thing i want to say is when you go to the dmv you have to have paperwork okay so along with your paperwork you need to have your certificate of attendance joshua's law papers but i guess joshua's law varies upon state but i know i see in georgia so we have to have it's required to take joshua's law um you have to have your permit and along with some other papers my mom handled most of my papers so if you want to know all the papers you need to bring to the dmv just check your local dmv website and it should let you know what you need to bring so now i'm finna tell my story time okay so basically it was a bright and sunny Saturday. It was beautiful outside, you know, and I was so pumped. I was so ready to take the test. I was nervous because, you know, even though I watched fail videos and I asked people how it was, you were never really prepared until you actually take the test. So I go to the DMV and, you know, we're all ready to go and take the test or whatever. And um, this was in November. So basically, um... Yeah, I go and take the test. Um, I give them the paperwork. Um, they take my picture. I pull up to the front and I'm ready to go. I wait like five minutes and my instructor comes out the door. She asks me to turn on my right blinker, left blinker. She asks me to press on the brakes, um, windshields, you know, like the basic stuff you need to know about your car. Um, and with me, I didn't even know how to turn it on, sis. I was looking a hot mess because I have a push to start and, um... I should really be filming this video in the car right now but you know i'm not okay but yeah so on my lexus it's a push to start and i usually drove my mom's car and you know it's like a regular um ignition or whatever it's called whatever and so um yeah i didn't even know how to turn it on she was looking at me like i was crazy okay i was like um i know what i'm doing okay so basically yeah that's what happened and um so i start the vehicle and you know we go on to like the skills portion of the test she has me pull up all the way to the curb and have to stop without you know pressing on the brakes like aggressively like just ease on the brakes and then she has me um straight line back and um i cannot do that i was legit weaving so she took off four points for that then it was parallel parking and backwards parking luckily you could fail both of those and still pass the test which i'll get on later in the video and so basically yeah so i failed parallel parking and ultimately i got into the um backwards parking spot but um it took me like two tries so she ultimately like took off points for that portion of the test and then after that it was like a straight shot i just had to drive out the skills portion and get to the main road okay and i was so pumped i was so ready yeah so i was just so nervous i did not know what i was doing and what i think is so like weird is like what if someone didn't know how to drive like if you didn't know how to drive and you're actually taking them on the road what's the point like in tv shows i see that they have like their own blocked out driving course but no with my dmv we gotta go on the road i was like oh, okay so yeah so she take me out to the road and we get to the stop sign my dumb selves i cannot see the road okay and she over here thinking i just want to kill the both of us 
and I had to like basically what I did was a violation of the stop sign because it was a rolling stop so basically this is the stop sign and this is the line and my car it went above the line and I told her I was like I just can't see the road she was like no ma'am turn back around I was like sis you bugging and yeah I was crying and I was really upset and basically I was a wreck um I couldn't even tell anybody that I felt the test because I would have just broken out and had a meltdown <laughs> of two weeks i just practiced and practiced and practiced and um yeah so now that's how i got my test and now i'm gonna give y'all some tips and some tricks on how i passed the second time and yeah hopefully y'all can use this when y'all take your test so yeah the well, first tip i want to mention is when you take your driver's test you want to make sure that you use your blinkers for everything like no matter it, i don't care if you're turning like use your blinkers at all times and so basically when you take your driver's test you just want to make sure that you remain calm and you don't want to seem like you know like you're a know-it-all you know like they're the driver instructor so obviously you don't know everything so don't act like you're like a know-it-all and um oh yeah adjust your mirrors accordingly i know with me i'm very short so i had to like adjust my mirrors in a way that i could glance up and that i wouldn't have to like you know like get all up in my seat to look at the mirror like, you want to make sure that if you need to glance at the mirror you glance at it look out your other left and right mirrors make it obvious that you're looking okay make sure you're backing like we do in the straight line backing that you actually turn around behind you they want to see you like actually use body movements and they want to know that you know what you're doing because I mean you're going to be on the road with these people so they want to make sure that you're not endangering yourself or others and just know if you fail your driver's test it's always a reason a reason is behind everything if you fail it's probably just because you don't need to be driving right now and that's the mentality that i had to keep constantly thinking about because like you know i said i was a wreck when i failed it but when i failed it it actually made me aware that maybe if I would have passed it, then I probably would have gotten a wreck and I probably just don't need to be driving right now. So during that two week course, cause I know I retook my test on December 8th. It gave me time to actually pray about it, watch fail videos because fail videos actually really helps. Like it allows you to know what not to do and you know, other people's experience on their driver's test and it helps you feel ultimately like really better. And basically, yeah, I know during the two weeks I prayed about it constantly. I asked God to allow me to pass this test and if I fail it then maybe I just don't need to be driving right now and that's just the mentality that you have to keep on having. I know when I retook my driver's test I was extremely nervous but I was well prepared. Make sure um, you ask people about the test. If you know someone who goes to your school or something went to the same DMV that you're going to, ask them, ask them like, okay sis, what was the route you took? Who was your instructor, you know? What paperwork did you need to bring? There's no harm in asking. Cause I know with me, I asked everyone. I probably got annoying. I asked like two girls in my honors lit class. I asked my friends, my peers, you know, just ask them how was the test, you know? I even asked one of my friends that actually helped me the day before my test. She helped me, you know, back up to a parking spot park straight and i know i actually think it's better if you fail the first time because like you actually know what's on the test i know what me it helps me with like preparation you know and just think of the driver's test at, as like as an actual school test you know you gotta prepare for it you gotta study for it you gotta practice and you just gotta be well prepared you know don't have any doubts in your mind you gotta stay positive about the test because if your mind has all these negative thoughts consuming your mind then you're going to fail the test i promise you if you just have positive thinking you know a positive outlook because i know when i retook my test even though i was extremely nervous i was confident in my abilities to drive and if i failed it was probably just another reason for me not to start driving so just know that everything happens for a reason you just need to maintain a positive outlook and positive thinking during this time of your life i also recommend being extremely comfortable with your vehicle i know for me personally i drove my mom's car around a lot i never drove the lexus and when i took that Jarvis test i it took me a while to learn how to maneuver the lexus you know so 
after that two weeks of me practicing driving in the car that I took to the DMV, I got to gain more control of the vehicle and became more aware of what the vehicle could do. Also, when you take your driver's test, you want to be aware of your surroundings. I know for me, I have like a lot of deers and stuff around, so um, I tend to look in the woods or whatever and since I need to be driving, but I be looking in the woods because I be scared because I want to hit no deer. So yeah, just be aware of your surroundings. I recommend going to a DMV that you're comfortable with, you know, um, and yeah, you should be perfectly fine. Okay. I know that I said watch fail videos. You also need to watch videos on how to pass your driver's test. As in like some instructors film videos with like their, their daughters or their sons. I'll actually link some videos in my description box that you should watch. Well, that I watched before I took my test or after I failed it. They helped me tremendously with being more positive about it. I even watched a video over prayer. I watched that video like two times a day and basically it was like this calming voice and she just prayed the prayer that you need to, you know, have complete faith. Um, make sure you schedule an appointment as well. I know lots of people who think you can just pop up in a DMV and take your driver's test. So many people take their driver's test the same day as you. So you just want to make sure that you have an appointment set up. Okay, and make sure if you're taking Joshua's Law that you're finished with Joshua's Law prior to you taking your test. Because I know my original test was so, um, was selected for November the 3rd, but I wasn't done with Joshua's Law, therefore I had to reschedule my test. So just make sure if you're doing Joshua's Law that you complete it in enough time for you to take your test. Another tip with being nervous. Do not be nervous. I was actually like, I was not as nervous as I thought I would be. The instructor been where you have been. They've been in the driver's seat before. They've taken the test before. And they have no room to judge on how you drive on, or if you failed the test, you know, because, you know, they probably failed it before. Or they probably had a daughter or a son who failed it before. They probably had a sibling or something who failed the test before. So just don't be nervous. Don't let the instructor intimidate you, okay? They just... The instructors are extremely peculiar and in order for you to be on the road they have to be that way you know just be thinking of that and just be conscious like you know if you wouldn't want yourself driving on the road then you know don't expect to pass the test you know you just have to be constantly practicing and constantly preparing for the test you're going to take so now I'm going to talk to y'all about how I actually passed my test the second time okay so when I passed my test the second time um I know I was extremely nervous because it was on December the 8th at 420, which is rush hour time. And basically, um, the DMV people are like usually rude, but this time they were like really nice because I guess because it's Christmas season and because they're like the DMV closes like around five. So I guess they were all just ready to get off of work. But anyways, they were like extremely friendly this time. And um, it was not as crowded as it would be like earlier in the morning so basically um i remember i did the same thing i did the first time and y'all i had the same instructor i was literally about to lose it but this time she was like way more friendly she was like how are you I was like i'm fine how are you like they were like really nice this time i was like okay i was really pumped for this one i remember my mom she was more nervous than me but with this time i was actually more positive and i had a more positive outlook on this actual test because i knew i was well prepared i was confident in my abilities and if i didn't pass then maybe there was a reason why so luckily i passed i did the skills portion first even though i failed both the parallel parking and the backwards parking i recommend um i know for my state you have to have a 75 to pass I passed with the 79 and basically I failed both the parallel parking and the backwards parking but I recommend um, either trying try to master either backwards parking or parallel parking because you can fail both and still pass the test but you know if you're one of those people that can't drive or you know have an issue with anything else make sure that you can at least master one of those because if you feel both of them you can still pass the test but if you if you know like if you don't know how to straight line back or if you just don't know how to drive in general then you may at least want to pass one okay so um basically i know for my second test i did the skills portion first i went to the stop sign i made sure i didn't do a rolling stop i stopped way before i went to the white line um I made sure that I was going at a constant speed limit. I was going below the speed limit. Therefore, she took points away because I was going too slow. I'm like, okay, 
whatever. So, um, basically, I know what I mean. The route I took was through a neighborhood. Basically, I entered the neighborhood one way and I exited it the other. And then we were on our way back to the DMV. So, basically, the route I took was extremely easy. I know some people have to take the highway. They have to go through heavy amounts of traffic. But with me, all I had to do was just go through a neighborhood. So, yeah, if you're going on a highway or whatever, I recommend you at least practicing on the interstate or on the highway to, you know, have a feel for what you're actually going to be taking your driver's test with. Also, for your test, make sure you get there in enough time to fill out some extra paperwork and actually for them to take your picture. I recommend getting there 30 minutes before. Some people say 20. I guess it just depends on how crowded your DMV usually is, but I got there like 40 minutes before my test. So, you know, it's always better to be there early than late. You know, yeah, I also recommend becoming aware with the um with the speed limit zones, you know. Um, if it says 35 on a curve, don't go 40, you know. You don't, on a driver's test, even though you may go 40 when you're by yourself, don't go 40 with, when you're with the instructor, you know. You always want to make, you always want to remain cautious of your speed because they are very peculiar about the speed limit and how you're driving, you know. Also, make sure you have a, a like a really good posture. I know with me, I drive like an old lady, so my posture I'm always sitting up straight and looking straight ahead, being aware of my surroundings. You don't want to be slouchy or like you know, like just like you know it all, you know. Um, I know what my instructor she actually commented on my posture because she said I had a really good posture. So posture and like the way you sit actually really matters. Also, be aware of your signs. So you may want to go back and look throughout the manual and just be aware of like the signs, like for a yellow. A yellow sign it means take caution or something like that so just be aware of the signs make sure you're also not too close to the car ahead of you make sure you have a great following distance you always want to make sure that you can actually see the wheels in the car in front of you what also may help you during your test well before you take your test is having like your guardian or whoever you know you're driving with give you commands even if you know where you're going like for instance um, I know during my driver's test, I guess she told me to make a left and I made a right because I thought I knew where I was going, but obviously I didn't. So yeah, just make sure whoever you're driving with, make sure that you start giving you commands, even if you know where you're going. So like if you're going to like a store or whatever, even if you know where you're going, tell the person beside you to be like, oh, keep going straight, make a left, make a right. You have to just be able to follow directions from the instructor or you'll automatically fail the test. Don't ever get comfortable driving because once you get comfortable driving, you think that a speed limit is a minimum and you'll think that a stop sign is just a recommendation. And you know, just make sure that you just don't get too comfortable because something can always happen. Um. So yeah, I think I want to be stopping the video right here. And I hope y'all pass your driver's test if you're taking the driver's test soon i hope you all pass i hope you all take my advice i hope i helped y'all in some way i hope my advice was beneficial to at least one person um i hope y'all enjoyed this video because i filmed this video like twice already i'm tired and i just love all of you i also want to thank you all for 200 subscribers because Y'all are just truly amazing. I am so blessed and highly favored. And yeah, just make sure y'all check the description box down below because I will link some of the videos that I watched that helped me get through failing the driver's test and that got me to passing it. Um, Make sure y'all just stay blessed. You know, it's a new year. Make sure y'all just stay blessed up. I love every single one of y'all. And yeah, have a great day, evening or night. And yeah, comment down below what videos y'all want to see next. And I love every single one of you.